hello guys welcome back to another tutorial video so in this video we will gonna see how to create a web simple web uh, webgs application using open layers and node.js so in the modern uh, javascript these days uh, modern uh, web application people are using the node.js for developing the application with all the dependencies bundled together and directly deploying onto the production server like in the earlier videos we have created the application so we have to download the each and every library then we have to import their scripts and css styling files and everything onto your page so basically a lot of things you have to see the links are proper or not and everything then you will be able to run the uh, your application but in case of node.js node will take care of that uh, npm no, uh, node package manager is there you can download uh, you can install all the uh, you can basically it's like a pip of uh, python like you install the different different libraries into their packages so similarly for open layers you can install the package of open layers their dependencies all the other depend dependencies suppose you are using bootstrap so you can install the bootstrap also and a final that final if you uh, if you build your application after creating the application you can run build so it will build the application with all the dependencies built uh, bundled together and a lot of bundle manage package manager is there such as so we'll be using the parcel webpack is also there white is also there but we will use uh, parcel package manager for that so it will create application and you can direct the, after that uh, that application you can directly deploy it on the server and also node.js uh, node.js is will give you uh, basically uh, to run the javascript on the outside of the browser also right now we know that javascript run on the browser only but it will give you the ability to run on the outside of the browser on the, for the back end kind of coding also for connection with the database update and everything so you can in the javascript you can do all the, all those stuff but we'll, today we'll see very simple kind of thing how to create a simple application if you go to the open layers also so it will if you go to the quick start it will show you the uh, old way of doing it like this import css js give map and everything like this but what they do they give for production we strongly uh, recommend bundling the application together with dependencies as explained in this so they they show <coughs> they <coughs> recommend to use node for that so we'll show we'll, we'll see how to do that so first of all on google you just type node.js and you go and download you just simply go for windows installer and just go to the downloads and <coughs> double click it and i have already installed it so i'm just showing you just you have to do next it will change repair that's why we call it installed you have to go next 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 and it will be finished after finishing it just you have to type here node or you can go for command form any cmd also to check what version you have installed just type here node version so it will give you the version okay for 16.14.2 then npm npm is the node package manager just like pip so it will you can it will manage your all the packages it will install all the packages and it will manage th them so 8.5 so we have node installed and npm also node package manager is there so now <coughs> to start with first of all create any folder let me just go and create i will create a folder anywhere I will create a folder like test underscore application test app okay so we'll be using the vs code for that vs code if you don't have vs video uh, visual studio code so what you can do you can go on google and directly download vs code it's a very small application and you can very quickly download and install it vs code for our code ed editing and everything we'll use you can download and you can very quickly install this very small application I think 60 70 MP so you can download from here and you can just go next 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 it will be like this <coughs> this is the visual code editor so I will close my all the uh, earlier file first let me just close folder so I will close this because now we found out that we have nodes properly installed so now I will open folder so wherever you want to put your application so like this i will give the path of this test app so 
so first thing we can do here uh, you can uh, let me just first new terminal here it is now terminal is there so now first we will first thing here in the terminal you what you will do just type here npm in here. so we are initialize, initializing our app, app so after that when you will uh, run this it will create the package name you can give any name let me give open layers then enter you can keep on entering it if you want to give anything yes finally yes so now it will create uh, this kind of thing package dot json this is the thing you got like here okay <clears throat> so all the packages and everything will be uh, uh, will be here suppose i will install npm ol because for downloading the open layers we will need this so if you go for npm ol like this this is the way of downloading the packages this is the open layers mapping uh, library so you have to type like this for installing any application so npm iol if you type this it will install the open layers <coughs> package so what i will do npm npm install I, either you can type install or i in short ol and if you enter it it will uh, download the ol package and here also it will be updated in the package.json file so as you can see in the package.json ol 16.4.1 now for bundling our application final application when, when we will create a bundle out of it so you need any uh, for packaging you need either webpack or you can use uh, parcel or white so we will use parcel so we'll install npm install parcel so by the time it is installing this thing what we will do we'll go to the open layer website uh, just go to any example simple map you can go for any example like this is so all the help is given here like this is the page index.html package.json like this package.json which already has been created just you have to copy this because we are using parcel one you have to copy these two scripts from here and just you okay let it let it install first so now uh, as you can see parcel has also been installed now here in the example of uh, if you go to the example and type simple map click here just you have to copy these two lines from here for start and building the app, uh, your bundle just you go here and under scripts under package.json the script just copy these to start and build and this is the index.html so whatever your base page is there so we'll we'll name it to index.html that's why it is like this so i will save it now we'll create our file index.html okay so if whatever your name is there that name you have to give here so we'll create html tag simple we'll give document name is web gis then inside body <coughs> we will create script srs sorry script src <coughs> and we will create a main let me just go for map.js or you can give main.js anything main or index.js let me just give main.js and we will create a new file here in this folder main.js so okay and after that you have to write here type is equal to module like this 
and then <clears throat> few more things we have to add here okay this because we have to, wherever we want to render the map also then this is the style of the map we'll copy here Uh, map width and uh, this also will copy so now our HTML is ready I will save it index dot main dot JS we have to write our JavaScript code so if I copy this simple code here so like this it is importing everything so either you can import whatever uh, whatever function you want to use a open layer otherwise there is one way of doing it you just write import star as ol from ol so it will import everything then you can write ol dot map ol dot view otherwise like i am i am writing the import map from ol dash map so directly i am using map then OSM from this so like this also you can do so if I save this now main.js I have index.html main.js package.json is there so now if I run this is my application complete application is there so if I just write here npm start So now it is using this start command. So it is it has created the application server running at localhost 1234. So if you go to this link, your application should be running. It is still building it. Built in 21 seconds. So if you control click this. So this is your open layers map as you can see now. This is the map but now if you want to you want to put that in the production server like this is the dist folder this is your whole application everything is packaged in this dist folder so now if you want to just create control c to cancel and after that if you like npm uh, run build So it is building okay there is some problem uh, compile okay inside package just remove this in main file index.js you save it and you just again run it so now it should run so now it has created the application if you go inside your folder of this folder because as you can see earlier this is our test app these are the package.js and main.js index this dist folder is our application this is our application full application so you can see here if you go open in the notepad plus so it has bundled everything all the dependencies and all the whole package because right now it's a very simple application so we have used only one thing open layers only so if you want to use layers which are and everything so let me uh, I will I will show you how to create if you want to add further more things also how to do that so this is the HTML page as you, as you can see so now just this dist folder is your application so what I will do I will copy this I will copy everything this one and you can deploy it on any production server like I have the I have Tomcat installed on my PC right now so if I copy these uh, inside the Tomcat let me just show you just create new app a folder so tomcat web apps folder you can 
copy this inside your xamp also apache also http uh, some folder is there no? i think http or some folder is there so like new app i will copy those files this is your application so now if i go in browser here so this is the application that one but if i run localhost 8084 my tomcat and here if i type new app same application should open so let's see this so now nothing is there if you go here go to uh, view page source you will see this thing everything is bundled together nobody will be able to see your code also as you can see it is in the minified version so like this if you want to modify anything just go here and you can further modif modify it like let me just show you i have other application like this is the page if i copy this and i'll paste this whole page here as you can see here i have imported everything the base map i have created the, the tile layer osm this is my this is the layer coming from geo server i am adding from geo server layer group i am adding everything so for this as you can see layer switcher i am using but i have not installed it so i have to install npm ol so I have to go and I have to search for so as you you can implement further more uh, further more uh, examples from here you can go here you can see another example of WMS you can implement that like this so let me just go for OL layer layer switcher this is the OL layer switcher npm <coughs> so simply i have to just copy this i will copy this and i will install here so it will install the OL layer switcher so in this code as you can see uh, this is my base map okay this is my tile layer osm then this is the, from coming from geo server i have geo server installed so this is coming from the geo server india india district and uh, this is the map then layer switcher okay layer okay this is not installed again i will try npm install over yeah it is installing now after that i am creating the vector layer also but one one more thing you have to see because the co course error will definitely come in geo server when you will access this kind of uh, wms or wfs these this is the get request kind of things course course uh, error will come so what you have to do wherever your geo server is installed because i am using insti inside the geo server so you have to go web apps mm. inside geo server like this then web then web.xml file is there so i will show you the old one so you have to uncomment few of the lines like this is the two line as you can see uncomment to enable in jetty so if you are using geo server inside the tomcat you have to uncomment this this line and this line so if you are using tomcat deployed in the uh, geo server deployed in the tomcat then you have to this otherwise uh, if you are using directly uh, geo server exe file or the binary dependent <coughs> platform independent binary then you have to uncomment you have to uncomment this one let me just show you you have to uncomment this first one jetty where it is written and of course you have to uncomment this thing also so second one is for tomcat uh, uh, if deployed in the tomcat geo server and first one is directly you are using the geo server and then you have to save it okay 
so now as you can see npm package.json over layer switcher has been installed so here if i save this page and let me go for okay this map is fine let me go for 600 just let me increase this save this and i will again do npm start so now again it will build the <coughs> application yeah it is built if you control click this okay now so this uh, this layer has also been loaded in your district and see one is the wfs this is the w w wms layer is coming from the geo server so course error will not come while using the wms but when you will use this one uh, as a geo json layer so course error you have to uh, you will face so you have to definitely uh, uncomment those lines which i have shown you like vector this is the vector data of india this all coming from the geo server like i have localhost 8084 geo server installed here now these layers i have taken from my geo server so like this suppose i will change anything i will just give the name here vector layer right now the name is vector so whenever i will save it automatically vector layer it will change so now if i again uh, just i will again okay i will control just you click control c after clicking here the parcel is shutting down so parcel is shutting now again you just write npm run build so it will build the application for you and if you want to change this port also so you, you can give the port here like the dash p and any 9999 so it will create local host 9999 it will run the application on that port that depends on you so it is building the application it may take uh, some time so now i will create again tomcat web apps i will create another folder new app one this folder if my build is completed okay it is still creating optimizing index.html So it has created dist this folder so again you have to go for node uh, this is this was my application test app so i will go for this if i go for these files like this So new app if I access again localhost 8084 new app 1 so this is my application so like this you can get the you can easily deploy your application how easily you have deployed same application if you want to deploy if you just copy this dist folder you can go you can copy in XAMPP also if I have XAMPP let me just see Mm. whether i have xamp installed i will show you okay xamp is there on the server okay xamp is there i will start the apache i forgot where i have installed the apache okay xamp apache i think
एस टी डॉक्स या दिस इज द फोल्डर आई थिंक सैम्प हाँ या है सो इफ आई कॉपी एनी थिंग ओके आई डोंट नो वेयर सैम्प लोकल होस्ट If I click on local host, whether I will be able to open the ZAMP. Let me just check. Okay, it is running on the port. It is fine. So okay. So now, if I copy the same application in ZAMP as ZAMP as the docs folder here, let me just copy that this dist folder directly test app. Mm hmm. I will copy and paste here. Dist. So local host. If I copy dist, so my application should run. Yeah. As you can see, application is there, and we are getting this layer. See. Because I have, you will not, you will not get this layer. Uh, WFS layer due to the course, so you have to modify the web dot XML file for that. So like that, uh, npm will give you the bundle app, bundled application. You just deploy it anywhere. All the depend dependencies uh, dependencies will be bundled into one application like that. As you can see, this this is your application only. So you just just keep on developing your application here, and finally you just build it and put it on a server. So I think that's it from this uh, this video guys I hope it will help you thank you thanks a lot for